step in between that stroke, that heart attack, that car accident. He stepped in between that robber. Thank you. If you know that he stepped in between, I just want you to say thank you, Lord, for stepping in between. Hallelujah. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies, came upon me. You need to look at somebody and say, he's been coming upon you. And when they came upon me to eat up my flesh, before they got to me, they stumbled. Before they got to me, they stumbled. Before they could reach me, they stumbled. Before they could take me, they stumbled. Somebody ought to be shouting, call the Lord. The devil to come on. I mean, no, he come on, this that the devil stumbled before he can get to my head, before he can get to my mind, before he can get to my mouth. Look at your neighbor and say, You're not here. Because of your goodness or your good looks, you're here by the grace of God. You're here by the mercy of God. Had it been left up to the devil, he would have took you out of here. Had it been left up to the devil, he would have taken your life. But thank God, his grace and mercy covered me. Showing me stuff in my mind. I thought about what could have happened. Five people riding in the vehicle with us. When my son came back home from Columbus, he said, Daddy, I saw a terrible accident. Five people were killed. And I said to myself, could have been me. It's great! Stop on the side of the road. I had an emergency stop. The rest of the passengers was in the car. And I jumped out of the car so fast, I did not know that the car was still in drive. I thought I put it in park, and while I jumped out of the car, all the load that was riding with me was going away from me, and there was no driver on the wheel. It's grace! Look at somebody and say, if you really think, say, well, look at somebody and say, flip the pages. Go back in your mind and see if you can come up with a testimony, almost like mine, that the Lord came through for you. And if you know the Lord that comes through for you and made a way for you, I want you to give him a praise like you never had before. Put your hands together and praise him, really praise him, really praise him. I just said get it back. See, if you want an out-of-body experience, you got to get out of your body and let the spirit get in. I want you to let this praise be a spiritual praise. Put your hands together and praise the Lord with all that you have. And all of your life right now, give it praise right now. Come on, praise him. Back your hands. I want you to, I'm, I'm your sergeant today. I want you to 
you to give him the kind of praise that really associates you with what he's done for you. Don't give him the praise according to what we think. But whatever you believe that God has done for you, give him that type of praise that corresponds with what you know that he's done. All right, whatever he's looking at, I said, whatever he's done for you, let that praise measure up to that. Ready, come on. One, two, three, three. Thank you.